Hey guys, my name is Scott Harmer. I'm with Motorsportsland here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2020 Volante 270 Bunkhouse. This is a great floor plan. It's, a, it's kind of a typical 27 foot. In previous years it had just a single bathroom, but now it's got a bath and a half. So it's pretty neat to have a second half bathroom right off the master. It kind of takes that family trailer, but also gives a little bit for the owners of the trailer so they're not walking all the way to the kids side for the bathroom. It's kind of a neat, neat idea and it, it didn't take up hardly any space. So it's kind of a really neat deal. We'll see that when we go inside. Um, going around the front, you've got a nice friction hinge door. The nice thing about that is you can, you can open it, you can leave it in one spot. Also, if you open up that, it's got a, a hinge on it where it almost closes itself, kind of opens up, stays that way. You've got the nice more ride steps that come all the way down to the ground. A lot of times you'll see on steps, if, even if you've got really good support, when people are standing on them, you can still feel it in the trailer. But having that go all the way down to the ground is just great takes all the support out and then to put them in it just goes right in locks into place really nice and easy to do flips right back out it's also adjustable so if you have different positions on the ground it always always hits the ground nicely um, you've got a nice high gloss fiberglass on the outside um, you're, you're a double welded aluminum frame with brick foam insulation so it's the lightest way you can make a trailer but it's also the strongest way you can make a trailer um, you've got really good storage all the way through the pass through here. You've got kind of an upper storage. It's all lit up. Access doors going to everything, flipping around. Down the front, you've got a huge compartment here, which would be a good space if you're going to have generator or something like that. If not, just a really good space for shovels or like bigger storage like that. Lit up. You've also got solar pre-wire here. Nice thing about that is you can get a solar panel. You can plug that into there. You can take it off if you want to park in the shade. You can put your solar panel in the sun. Also, if you sell your trailer, you can spend a lot of money on solar and you can actually take that with you as opposed to losing that money when you're selling your trailer and it kind of goes towards the top. Um, you'll notice the, fr the front cap here is actually painted. You'll see on a lot of trailers after a certain amount of time, after years, this dark part becomes faded. It looks really horrible and oxidated. On, on, on your, your Volantes, the front cap is painted, so it's never gonna do that. You've got really nice LED lights going across the top. That's really nice if you're camping. You can kind of have a lit up front area. If you're working on getting it onto the trailer, you can kind of see you know, where it's at pulling onto the truck. Um, you also have a Rotoflex pin box. The nice thing about that is because you've got a rubber bushing here that takes away all of that chucking. It really controls everything. It gives you a lot smoother ride still, but just getting on, onto your hitch really nice and easy. Um, coming around to this side, you've got a big seven and a half gallon two propane tank system here. Um, nice thing about that is you're really, if you're going to go up for longer times, you can put that in the middle. And if one runs out, it'll always switch over to the other tank, but that's just really nice to have. Here's you know, additional access to your storage going in through there. Um, this is one of your black tank flushes. The best thing about black tank flushes is if you, if you don't have one of these, you have to take a hose, run it all the way through your trailer, stick either a wand on it or something, put it into the actual toilet, swish it around so it cleans it out good. Take that same hose, just hook it onto here, flushes everything out so it's nice and clean. It also makes it so that your monitors read properly because they're not having debris and stuff on that. So having a black tank flush you know, on both of the bathrooms in here is phenomenal, let, you know, let alone, let alone just, just the one. Um, here you've got a Schwintec slide system. The nice thing about a Schwintec slide system is you've got big, huge gears. So you've got steel going into the steel chassis of the trailer. That's going to be the most supportive slide system that you can do. You can actually stand on the top of the slide. You can, you know, rinse off the roof. You can check it for debris and stuff like that. It's just, it's the, the most tried and tested slide system, slide system that there is. Um, it's definitely a, a huge benefit to this trailer. Nice big windows here in the sofa and the dinette area to give you a nice big view. Um, you've got your second black tank flush here for the main bathroom in the back. City water connection that pressurizes the trailer. It doesn't fill it up, but it pressurizes it. And then an outside shower here. Um, coming across the back, you've got your cable and satellite controls here. You are pre-wired for a backup camera. The nice thing about that is they've done all the legwork to get the backup camera in there. So you can pop in a camera for, you know, two, three hundred dollars, depending on what style you want and have that backup system on here. That's really neat on a particular model like this, because 27 feet is about the perfect size if you want to tow something behind you. A lot of different manufacturers will not allow you to do that. If you hook a hitch to the back of it, it'll void your warranty. Volante from Crossroads actually puts the hitch already on it. So it's meant to tow something behind it. That's a huge benefit and really lets you know how the trailer is constructed, that it's you know, able, to, able to do that. 
Outside kitchen is one of the best things that you can do on a trailer. I mean, the whole concept of a trailer is to be outside. You want to cook outside. You've got a big awning over here. So you've got a nice refrigerator. You've got a sink, double burner stovetop here. That's just a huge benefit to be outside while you're cooking. You don't have to, you know, make the breakfast bacon smell inside the trailer. That's kind of a nightmare. Um, you've got a high efficiency six gallon hot water heater. So you can not only get a nice hot shower, but it actually recovers really quickly. So you don't run out of hot water. Power awning that goes almost across the entire front. You also notice it's adjustable. So if the wind kicks up, you're not gonna have that fear of that thing coming across. Now, that being said, don't go hiking and leave your awning out, but at least you'll know if that wind kicks up, it's just adjustable so it'll, it'll compensate and not get ripped off to give you some time to get that in. Um, exhaust for your hot water heater. You've got a nice, nice aluminum wheel so you don't get any rust and they look really, really nice. You've got power outside. So if you want to have a blender, kind of this becomes your world out here. This is kind of your camping situation. You'll have your tables and stuff like that. So to have power out here is really nice. This is where you'll actually fill up the water connection. So you've got 54 gallons of water. You've got 88 gallons of black, which is two 44 gallon tanks. And then you've got one 44 gallon on your gray system here. So, I mean, honestly, in a 27 foot trailer, those are huge capacities that'll really let you get out for a long 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 time um, coming in the front you've got a nice big grab handle you'll notice a sticker here that says extreme weather package so you've got ducted heat going down into your underbelly where all the pipes and tanks are so you won't have to worry about anything freezing you'll have you know ducted heat going down um, now that being said too if you're in a negative 30 degree area houses freeze of that so use a little bit of common sense but this is for your, for your regular camping going to get you anything that you need um, it's a keystone product so it does come with it with a three-year warranty um, that's fantastic and in our season here we're seven eight months at best so to have that second and third year that's really really beneficial nice speakers outside with led lights inside of them as well as a big led light bar that really lights up the whole front of, of the package here um, come on inside let's take a look in here if you could feel it, it's roasting hot in here because we've got our fireplace on, which not only puts out a kind of a good audience, but actually puts out a really good heat. You've got different settings on it. You can turn it on and off and have it go that way. Um, this trailer is not opted with a TV in here, but you can put any size TV you want. You've got about, about a 42 fits in here, but it does have a nice sound bar going across. You've got really good storage coming across the top. I love the lit glass here that can do this. Um, again, this is your super side. We call it a super side because it's got the sofa and the dinette in it. It's a full wall slide and three feet deep. You've got your nicer blinds here that still go up and down like that, but they're wood, so they're not like the, the fabric. This is your trifold sofa. If you've never seen this, this is the best sofa in the industry. It's not like your grandma's that kind of puts a spring in your back. It's not an air mattress that breaks day four or five but it's a nice big comfortable cushion you can put those back there but it's if you don't get the master in the bedroom on this one it's kind of a really good place to have if you're a full-size adult easy to do you'll notice too it also still when it's open gives you room to walk around it easy to do easy to put back I love the big U-shaped dinette for card playing and stuff like that you can easily get four adults around on this side put two more chairs here to really have open space and again open storage easy to get to underneath all of that also i love the fact that it's a not a freestanding table it's actually got pedestal legs on it i've got little kids so i can just see if this thing's getting bonked around stuff flying everywhere that's a lot better more secure area to do that a uh, digital thermostat here just like your house an actual fixed door going into the bathroom. Now this doesn't seem like a big deal, but in a lot of trailers, you'll see a big gap here, or you'll see a huge gap here. This door actually fits. You can tell that they didn't just buy a door and stick it on there. They actually made this door to fit this bathroom. Coming into the bathroom, you've got a good sized shower. You've got a porcelain toilet, beneficial for many reasons, cleaning and stuff like that. It actually allows you to use, um, cleaning products that aren't rv cleaning products like household cleaning products that are a lot cheaper and actually do a much better job and clean up better nice countertop here you got a us you have a charging 110 here gfi breaker more storage up here for your towels coming across the back you've got double over double bunks the greatest thing about that they've both got windows they've both got lights and they've both got power 
kids nowadays, you hate to you know have them bring electronics, but your phone is now your your, your camera too. So to be able to have you know charging stations, you know USB and 12 volts and stuff like that is really a great job. Nice big storage under that as well. If you're looking through cabinets, this is just phenomenal. The depth that you have on the one, two, three, four, five more above the refrigerator is just a massive amount of storage. Again, for a 27 foot trailer, this is just huge. You've got the new Dometic eight cubic foot refrigerator with a separate freezer up top. Nice deep in there. You've got separate drawers, all of your uh, door levels that can are adjustable so you can put whatever you want in there. You've got nice LED lights on the new Greystone stovetop and oven. This flips up so you can use it as a backsplash as well. Um, range top, microwave, and again, just everywhere that there can be storage, there is. Nice and deep. Solid surface countertop, stainless steel sink, high rise faucet with a spray nozzle. Again, just really nice things that you'd actually see in like a residential house. You've got a really good accent LED lights. These are lights that you can keep on overnight all the time. They don't hard take any power and they're just kind of backlit. Keep everything looking good. You've got a second set of them above the slide out up top and then really deep metal like ball bearing drawers. You know, these drawers are rated to hold 50 pounds each if you ever want to take your, your cinder blocks camping with you. You'll notice you've got ducting in the floor. That also goes down into your underbelly where all your pipes and tanks are because it's got a sealed underbelly. Coming up into the bathroom, this is one of the neatest things. You've got more storage here and here. Queen size walk around bed and a second bath right off the master so that the the owners of the coach actually get a good a good nice bathroom too and again a lot of different companies will like you know kind of cheapen out too this is again another porcelain toilet so you've got that you've got ducted ac going up in here you've got nice storage coming up here same on the other side queen size walk around bed with storage underneath that as well even some sink covers so guys, that was a good look at the 2020 Volante 270 bunkhouse. Again, this is the new bath and a half version. I'm Scott Harmer from Motorsports Land. Come take a look. Let Motorsports Land guide you to the dreams of